I would like to follow up on the previous video of determine if these lines are parallel, intersecting, or skew. So using an analytic method, um, it was determined that these are intersecting. Um, but wouldn't it be nice to actually graph this and see for ourselves that they really are intersecting? Um, and so, so first of all, let, let's convert these to parametric equations. So, um, so R1, uh, vector R1, that's uh, 1, 2, 3 plus T, 3, 1, 4. So let's just distribute that T through, first of all. Um, so that gives us 1, 2, 3. And then we have uh, 3T, 1T, 4T. Let's add those together. Um, oh, and, and uh, R1, that's just XYZ right there. So that's going to equal um, 1 plus 3T. And then two plus one t, and then three plus four t. Okay, and so uh, we have two vectors that are equal. If the vectors are equal, then the components are equal. So we can set this up to x equals one plus three t, um, y equals uh, two plus one t, and z equals. Um, uh, uh, 3 plus 4 t. Okay, so there's the first line in parametric form right there. Um, now using a, so let's call this L1. Okay, so using a similar technique, you can pretty quickly figure out that um, the other line is 2, 2 plus negative 1 times t. So that's 2 minus 1 t. Y is 9 plus 3t, and then z is 11 plus 2t. Okay, we'll call this line 2. All right, so we have the equations in parametric form. So now let's let's go to Mathematica, and um, let, let's, let's type this in. I'll, I'll show you how the parametric 3D command works. So... Um, so here, here we have Mathematica. Um, uh, the parametric plot 3D uh, command, all you do, uh, first of all, let me zoom this in a little bit. All right, so parametric plot 3D. Um, so open square brackets. So the basic thing you do is you type in your X equation, your Y equation, your Z equation, Except you don't have to write x, y, z, just just the what they are equal to, and so just um, it, it's a list of it's a list of expressions involving t. So anything in, with lists, you need to open curly brackets, and so um, the first uh, we had x equaled one plus three t. So you just type one plus three t, um, and and that's that's it. And then put a comma, and then y was uh, 2 plus 1t, so 2, that's just 2 plus t, and then comma, and then z was 3 plus 4t. And so uh, here you have the x, 1 plus 3t, you have the y, 2 plus t, you have the z, 3 plus 4t, and, and that's that's all. You don't write x equals and y equals and z equals. Um, and then you put a comma, and then in the next curly brackets, you have to say for what values of t. So it's kind of hard to know, but let's just say um, open curly bracket. Let's do t from how about zero to ten. All right, and and we'll we'll just see how this looks. And then closing square bracket. All right, shift enter if you're using a laptop or enter on the numeric keypad. Okay, so here we have the um the the uh, the line in three dimensions. All right, so all right. So it's kind of hard to tell. The default is puts it into a box. So let's let's do a couple of options here. Um, uh, comma um, options are uh, using arrows, and so let's just do um, axis origin. This is a useful uh, option. Uh, minus sign greater than sign, which converts to an arrow, and then let's just put the origin at zero zero zero. Okay, and then also let's let's label our axes here. So, um, uh, oops, axes label, and then another arrow, and then um, or minus sign greater than sign, um, 
and let's just do uh, x. Uh, so put put these in quotation marks because they're they're text here. X y comma z, and that has to go inside curly brackets. Any any list of anything always goes in curly brackets. Um, this will help a little bit to better visualize our our graph here. Let's see. Um, all right, let's let's scroll down a little bit here. Hmm, it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> here here it is, all the way down there. So going from zero to for t going from zero to ten was kind of silly because we have this huge graph, and here we have our. Okay, so let let let's uh, adjust here instead of. Um, zero to ten, like we had before. Let's do maybe negative five to five. Let, let's let's have some negative numbers in there too. So there's always a little bit of trial and error when you're deciding what values of t to to have. Um, now let, let let's scroll down now. Let's see if this looks a little better. Well, it's still not great, but um, you can see here. You can see your your x right there. Here's our x-axis right there. Here's our y-axis and our z-axis. Let's see if I can make this tip tip up a little bit. It's kind of hard to turn. Okay, well, there, well, all right. Well, it's not great, but there's our z. Okay, well, there's that first line. Now, how do you graph two lines at once? Um, anytime you want to graph two things at once, just put them in, in another set of curly brackets. And so the, the second line, uh, let's go back here, was... Um, the second line was x was 2 minus t, y is 9 plus 3t, z is 11 plus 2t. So let's just type that in um, on uh, back to our parametric plot 3D here. So just add it, another set of brackets. So it's a, think of it like a, a list of lists and then uh, comma and then curly brackets and type in your next three. So I've got uh, um, our next three uh, equations. So x equals 2 minus t, but again, don't put in the x y equals 9 plus 3t, but don't put in the y, and separate with a comma, and then a z is 11 plus 2 times t. Okay, curly bracket and another curly bracket, because now I've got uh, a list of lists. I've got two separate um, sets of parametric equations. Um, same values for t, same options. Okay, now let's press uh, shift enter. Okay, so here we have both equations at the same time. And um, and so now you can see if you uh, rotate this around a little bit, um, sure enough, they look like they're intersecting right right at that point right there. Um, and so we can visually uh, confirm what we solved analytically or what I didn't solve, but what uh, the other teacher solved on that last video. Um, now, let's just do it. Since we have all this up here, let's just... Um, do a quick demonstration of what a skew would be. So let's just say the second equation, instead of being y equals 9 plus 3t, let's say it was like a 2 plus 3t instead. And so now um, uh, that should now be two skewed um, lines. So let's see, let's uh, rotate. The, you can't really tell if they're intersecting or not from this angle, but if you rotate down, you can see, sure enough, these two lines do not intersect. Uh, so they're not parallel to each other, but they're not intersecting either. But you can you can see that they're they're skew, um, and so it, it, mo most of the line. If you just randomly pick um, random uh, linear equations for your x, y, and z, you would most likely get a two skewed lines. And uh, that's it for that video. Thanks for watching.